Hello everyone, welcome to yet another tutorial. Today we are going to look at how to create a city scene like this using Blender GIS. Okay, so we will look at how to install the Blender GIS plugin and then create a city scene using basic image based lighting, some reflections and render a scene like this. Okay. So if you go to Google and search for Blender GIS, you'll get a link. If you click on the link, you'll get to Blender GIS, go to code and download the zip file, which I have already done. Once you come to Blender, go to edit, preferences, go to add-ons, click on install, select the Blender GIS master zip file and install the add-on. Once the add-on is installed, search for GIS and turn it on. Okay. Once you do that, you will get a GIS button here. We don't need the light, so delete it. We don't need the cube, delete it. Click on GIS, web geodata, base map. And we will say, okay, it will open a Google map. You can zoom into it. We want to look at Dubai, so I'll go to G and search for Dubai as well. And 13 resolution worked well. Zoom 13. And it got me to the Dubai palm. And I want this area here, which has nice buildings, and then the palm. So I'll select this and hit the E key. And you can see that I get the palm and the building just so now I'll go to populate this area with different buildings and stuff. So if you go to Web Geodata, Get OSM, which is OpenStreetMap, we need buildings. And you can bring in other things if you want. I'll just do buildings to speed things up. So I will say, OK, you can experiment with other options. And it will take a minute and populate the map with buildings and that's as easy as that all right then we will add the camera do some lighting we can add some fog we can add some mist pass to create some interesting design okay so you can see that all the buildings are there and if you select the buildings and hit the n key you can even make the buildings taller a little bit to just exaggerate that uh, of the buildings okay so let us save our file somewhere so I'll go and save it on my YouTube channel blender GIS it's important that you save your work because there been a few steps now uh, once that is done we need to render this out so uh, if you look at your camera and hit the n key your camera has gone distance so we'll bring it back to earth uh, and then we will also scale it a thousand times because if you look at this map you can see it is 17,000 meters okay so our camera has to match that so you can find where the camera is so you can see my camera is there maybe 100 works good also so you can see the camera now what we will do is we'll make the camera follow circle so you can get a nice view of the city so i'm going to add a curve of circle and again i'll make it big and then i'm going to scale it further big for the path of the camera okay and from the top view i want to place this here okay this is where i want the camera to focus on and then i can further scale it out so the camera will be in this area here so i'll select my camera the camera has become small so 
the camera scale does not change anything it is just the camera icon that becomes big or small so we want the camera to follow the circle so we'll go to constraints and then we're going to add follow path constraint and here we're going to select the bezier curve and again it moves somewhere in the space we'll bring it back to earth so it is zero now we want you to look at this circle so as we move around it keeps looking at the same point so i'm going to go to add empty and i like single arrow and again i'll go okay, 1000 and go to the top view and place it where i want the camera to look at okay so you can see that there is that arrow my circle needs to be up a little bit so I'll select this and I'm going to add another constraint which is track 2 and track 2 is going to be the empty so now you can see that the camera is pointing towards the arrow and then we will start our animation somewhere here and then end it somewhere here okay so this is what is going to be animated so if you look at zero now nothing is visible because if you go to the camera and if you go to view you can see that you have like one and too many zeros here we only have two zeros so we need to start adding the clip end and the ct appears all right now the circle is kind of small so we can scale it big oh we, instead of making the circle big what we can do is we can select the camera and make the focal length we can drop it to 36 for example or maybe 24 okay so if you go to zero now you can go to the train and then animate the camera like this and you will be able to move and see the scene Okay, and you can animate the camera focal length also in the end, maybe say 30. Yeah. You can, if you want to use a real life lens, then you can plug in a specific number. Otherwise, you can type in any number you want. All right, once that is done, we need to go to the render option. And of course, we need to add an environment texture and add an HDRI image you can add an image you like what type of lighting you want okay this one and then you can move here camera up and then you can change the camera angle down you can move this down so we are not looking at any of this but only the city okay and then you can scale this down the circle can be scaled smaller maybe seven seven four eight can become seven five eight seven five eight seven five seven the complaints camera then you can work with that okay camera 26 24 20 oops, 24 26 26 works well and then you can animate your scene like this you need to change it to cycles Rendering to 32 with denoise and to 32 to 50. Okay. 
okay and then to add keyframes add 250 select the camera constraint add a keyframe for this number where it ends or you can go a little bit beyond if you want i go to the first zero zero keyframe and then add a keyframe there and you get that animation okay this object can add a little bit of metallic and reduce the roughness. Okay, some reflections. Okay, and then uh, our sky ray visibility we want to remove glossy so we don't get any glossiness, otherwise, the sky looks weird in here. And that's about it. Uh, you go to the render settings and render it up. 1280 by 720. Save it as where you want to save it. Select the folder. Render it as FFmpeg video. Encoding, change it to MPEG4. And render. That's about it. Thank you very much.